The main border crossing between Afghanistan and Pakistan at Torkham is now open for business. Trucks have been traveling in both directions. There were apprehensions that as the Taliban advanced across the country, tens of thousands of refugees will pour across this border into Pakistan. But the ground reality is very different. People living close to the Pakistani border all the way from Hilman province to Nuristan up in the north are mostly Pushtun tribes. They of course welcome the Taliban. They have seen the Taliban rule in the past. And what we saw at this border crossing, that instead of tens of thousands of Afghans coming across the border, we saw hundreds of Afghans eager to cross that border and go back to their country. Most of the people that we spoke to over here are elated and jubilant with the fact that the Taliban are back in power. They, on the other hand, do not agree with the international community and they see a ray of hope for a lasting Afghan settlement. We welcome the Taliban back in Afghanistan as they are the true heroes of the country and none other than them can bring a lasting peace to this war-torn country destroyed by many. Afghanistan is in ruins from the last 40 years. Firstly, we were made homeless by Russians and then the Americans, but thank God, finally we've got freedom from their invasions. We trust the Taliban and hope they will bring peace, stability and progress to this country. But while the situation on the borders was now returning back to normal, there were frantic diplomatic efforts to try to put the Afghan leaders on the same table with the Taliban. The former Foreign Minister of Afghanistan, Salauddin Rabbani, is in Pakistan, along with uh, Yunus Kanuni, the head of the Afghan parliament, and also Ustad Mohakik is amongst that group. He represents the minority Hazara community. What Pakistan has been telling the Afghan Taliban is that this could be an inclusive government, which would include all the ethnic groups of Afghanistan. Therefore, it offers a ray of hope for the first time in two decades for a lasting peaceful settlement to the Afghan conflict. What the Pakistanis have been saying to the Taliban is that it has to be an inclusive government. The Taliban have also announced an amnesty and said that there will be no retribution even for those people who've been working with the Americans. Well, girls